Monday, MLB recap. Is anybody watching? Nope, but I'm going to spend eight hours on this thing anyway. My wife loves that. Today's episode brought to you by my favorite movies of all time, number 16, Night Shift. Yanks, sweep the Guardians. New York has won seven of ten. They're now tied with Toronto atop the East. Their pitching staff leads the AL and Team ERA. Nestor Cortez, sweet stash. J-Ram, MVP? Tango and Cash. The on-screen chemistry, undeniable. Blue Jays take two or three from the Astros. Houston has lost seven out of ten. Toronto leads baseball and Team Dingers. Jordan Romano leads the AL and saves. And that's old brother where art thou? Number 14. Mm. Rays take two or three from the Red Sox. Tampa pitching leads the AL and team whip and batting average against. Wander Franco, he rakes and he rarely strikes out. Bogey's batting 350 for the Sox and that's trading places. Orioles take two or three from the Angels. Angels now a game back in the AL West. Mike Trout heating up, baby. He leads the AL and OPS. Baltimore's Jorge Mateo leads baseball in stolen bases. Number 12, scent of a woman. hoo Mariners sweep the Royals. They grab first place in the West. They've won 8 of 10. Ty France leads baseball in hits. J.P. Crawford, 68 plate appearances, 4 strikeouts. Ben Intendi's batting 388 for KC. That's tops in the show, and that's the sting. Here's a biggie. Twins sweep the White Sox. Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. He leads the AL on dingers, and them dingers go far. White Sox have lost seven in a row. Ouch. Twins. They got the papers and the trash. Use the funny Vincent. Rangers. Take two or three from the A's. Nathaniel Lowe shares the last name with me. Batting 373 for Texas, and there's Fargo. In interleague play, Rockies take two or three from the Tigers. Blackman and Gritchick are banging that ball around. Miggy, 3,000. Seventh guy in history to reach 3,000 hits and 500 dingers. Wow. Royal Tenenbaums. Number eight, Hackman. Forget about it. In the National League, Dodgers take two or three from the Padres. Kind of feels like uh, what it's going to be all year. Padres play well, Dodgers play better. LA has won eight of ten. Their team pitching stats are ridiculous. Kershaw leads baseball and whip. Force count. Giants sweep the Nats. There they go again, folks. Half game back of LA. They've won seven of ten. Jock Peterson hot, like Nick Cage hot in the rock. Con Air, Raising Arizona, also fantastic. Mets take two or three from the D-backs. The Mets are just really good. They've won seven of ten. They lead baseball in team hits, and their pitching staff is right there with the Dodgers in every category. Number five, Braveheart. He's throw the rock. Marlins take two or three from the Braves. Joey Wendell, hashtag man crush. Ozzy Albies leads the NL in dingers. Matt Olson leads the NL in handsomeness. Dumb and dumber. Uh, now you know we're getting down to it, folks. Brewers take two or three from the Phils. The crew is starting to pitch, baby. They've won seven of ten. Phillies have lost seven of ten. Makes me cry every time. Had it on VHS. Still do. Cards take two or three from the Reds. The Redbirds sit atop the uh, Central. Arenado's batting average in OPS, plump. Reds did snap an 11-game losing streak, and that's number two. Me and Dad, just every Friday night. Finally, the Pirates take three or four from my Cubbies. Seiya Suzuki leads baseball in OPS. Ian Happ said of his teammate, and I quote, he doesn't swing at balls, out of principle. And my favorite movie of all time, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Makes sense, doesn't it?